welcome back to my channel. My name is Leanne and I am on a journey to lose over 100 pounds. Um, today is, per the title, what I eat in a day in a caloric deficit to lose weight fast food version. And when I talk fast food, yes it is fast food, it's convenience food. Um, I am just going to challenge myself to stay within my caloric deficit, which is 1400 calories. So I am on my way right now. It's 7.20 in the morning. I woke up at 6. I did um, my workout this morning. I did a cardio workout. And then I'm doing an arm and leg challenge by uh, Lucy Wyndham Reed. I'll leave her videos below, a seven-day arm and leg challenge. So I did that this morning. And I've drank my water this morning. That's one thing that I am going to focus on today is drinking a lot of water because as you know, fast food um, has a lot of sodium in it. So I am going to focus on drinking close to a gallon of water just to keep that, you know, keep that water and keep me hydrated. I don't obviously promote eating fast food when you're trying to lose weight. This is only a fun video, a challenge video. Again, I'm staying within my caloric deficit. I am not eating the, the Whopper or anything like that. I'm just showing you that if you need to eat out, if you are traveling, if you are busy, if you are out and about all day long and you have to resort to eating fast food or you want to treat yourself, just know that there are options, healthier options out there for you and you can't beat yourself up about it. So that is the point of this video. It is not, this is not the way I eat. Um, this is not the way I have been eating whenever I'm during my weight loss journey. Um, but I just thought it would be a fun video to do just to show you again, um, the options that you can have if you, if you need to eat out and not worry about going over your caloric count. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's 7.22 in the morning. I got to get going because I have to be back before 8 because I am working today. So let's go. Good. Good. What can I get for you? I have a mobile order for Leanne. For what's the name? Leanne. Leanne, all right. We are working on it. Come on up. Thanks. oatmeal and it's not what I ordered. I guess I should have checked. Um, but it doesn't have the fruit on it. It doesn't have the nuts on it. it doesn't have my blueberries on it that I added. They did give me the agave. So I don't know. I'm just going to count the calories as it is, even though the nuts and the dry fruit and my blueberries and all are not on here. I don't know. That's disappointing to me. But I am going to eat this and drink my coffee and get to work. Actually, no, I'm just going to kind of manipulate the calories because this is not even, doesn't even have the brown sugar or anything inside of it. So I'm going to try to manipulate the calories just to have basically what? One cup of oats and a little bit of um, agave syrup. So here is my lunch. I went to Wendy's. I just crossed out my <laughs> restaurant information. Um, and got the avocado salad with the jalapeno ranch dressing. There is the dressing packet. Here is the salad. I will not be eating the cheese because I have um, an allergic reaction to cheese. So I stay away from that. But it looks delicious. Okay, you're on my computer right now. Um, but actually today was, I think, the perfect day for me to do this. I have been busy at work this morning. Um, I had to run out on my lunch to grab this and also um, to go to the bank and pick something up. 
So this ended up being a perfect time to do this challenge. And later on this evening, I have to go to my parents and meet my daughter after that. So getting dinner out is perfect. So I am going to enjoy this lunch. I will have all the caloric information up on the screen. If you've noticed that the apps, the um, restaurant apps, a lot of them show the caloric information and the macros on there. And also if you decide to remove something or add something to your order, it calculates the calories and the macros for that too. It's, it's so simple now to be able to track your calories and count them and to stay on point. You don't have to Google, you don't have to do anything. It's right there, right in front of you. And I think that is perfect. Oh, and to drink, I'm having my water. So I'm gonna dig in and then get back to work. Okay, everyone, it is dinner time and I ordered from Jimmy John's. And I went higher calorie with this because I had calories, but I did go over by 55 calories. So what I ordered was a roast beef sandwich, I'll show you, but I did get it with bread. You can get it with made as an unwitch with a lettuce wrap, which will cut down on the calories significantly. And I got this with no mayo. That cut out, cut out 165 calories, isn't that crazy? So I'm gonna show you Instead of the using their mayo, I'm just going to use my Hellman's Light on it. And this is 35 calories per tablespoon. Probably only use one tablespoon. And I got some chips. I haven't had chips in a very long time. So one package is 260 calories, and I am going to eat it all. And I got a bottle of water that is almost gone. So, oh, and a pickle, huge pickle, for 20 calories. So let me turn you around and I'm going to show you my sandwich. Okay, I really didn't turn you around, but this is the way. So here is my sandwich. Looks delicious. I even have mustard on there, the hot peppers, lettuce, tomato, cucumber. So I am gonna put one tablespoon of mayo on here and I am guesstimating something like that much and I will definitely add this into um, my fitness pal I track all of my calories on my fitness pal so I will also show you um, everything it's all inputted in there and I will show you how my calories ended up for the day so here are the calories for dinner actually I only ate half the pickle so minus 10 calories yay for me I did go over by 80 calories though total for the day but I was eating fast food, but I am completely stuffed. Dinner stuffed me and I am completely satisfied for the day. So that is it for this video, everyone. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.